Hello and welcome. Uh, take a moment, try this problem on your own, pause the video, give it a shot, and when you're ready, press play and we'll do it together. Okay, so which pair of equations cannot be used to solve the following equations for x and y? So the, the basic idea here is that um, when you use techniques to solve systems of equations, you might do things like add these two equations or subtract them. Or maybe what I do is I multiply the second equation by 2. That would give me negative 4x plus 4y minus 16. And I did that because I want to get the opposite um, first term. I have negative 4x. Originally I had 4x. So now if I add these two equations, right, what am I going to get? Well, the 2x is the 4x and negative 4x. If I add these two, they cancel out. And I get 6y equals 6. And then I know y equals 1. Then I can take y, plug it in uh, to either equation, and solve for x. So I plug in the first equation, 4x plus 2 times y, right, or just 2 times 1 or 2, equals 22. And 4x equals 20, and x equals 5. So what I just found is that these two, these are both lines. They meet at the point where x is 5 and y is 1. So they meet at the point 5, comma 1. Now, typically, that's what you would do to solve a system of equation, but here they're asking which of these equations cannot be used to solve for x and y. Now, you don't have to do any of this here to solve this, this problem, but I just wanted to show you that one of the key fundamental things I did in this problem was right here. I took the second equation, I doubled everything, and then I used that to add and eliminate the x term. In other words, the idea is if I multiply or scale an equation up or down, each term by the same scale factor, I know I'm not going to be changing the answer, right? I can get to the answer where these two lines meet. So they're essentially asking you, hey, which of these systems don't have the exact same equation scaled up or scaled down, right? Which one is that? Well, the first one's out. Notice I have 4x, 2y, and 22, the exact same equation. And the second one, all the terms are the opposites. So basically, they, they took every term and multiplied it by negative 1. So instead of negative 2x, I have positive 2x. Instead of negative positive 2y, I have negative 2y. Instead of negative 8, I have positive 8. So that's gone. The second uh, choice, 4x plus 2y is 22, same first equation. And the second equation looks like they multiplied um, everything um, by 2, just like I did. Um, so these are both equal equations, just scaled up or scaled down. And the name for this, when two equations are scaled up or scaled down, is collinear. And I think I'm spelling it right, although it looks like collinear. Uh, essentially two lines that, if you graphed this line, and this line, they're the exact same thing, just because they are just one of them has been multiplied uh, proportionately up or down will not actually change the equation of the line. Now, choice three. Let's go to that one. We have 12x plus 6y is 66. So uh, here they tripled 2y to get 6y, and they tripled 22 to get 66, and they tripled 4x to get 12. X is so far that's good. Then what they did was they tripled. Uh, well, sorry, they multiplied negative 8 by negative 3 to get 24. Uh, 2y by negative 3 to get negative 6y. And negative 2y by negative 3 to get 6, 6x. So the only one left is choice 4. Let's see what's wrong with this or what they changed. We have 8x and 4y is 44, right? So that checks out. They doubled everything. But the second equation, something must be wrong. Let's see what it is. They multiplied negative 2x by 4, right? to get negative 8x, and 2y by negative 4, oops, and there's there's a mistake, oh, by 4, excuse me, so negative 2x times 4 is 8x, Neg uh, 2y times 4 is 8y, but negative 8 times 4, this should be negative 32, right, they should have multiplied that to get negative 32, it's a different equation now, so essentially when you're, when you're multiplying these equations by a number, you have to multiply everything by the same value, and here the answer is choice 4, thanks.